We fall in love. We get married. We make love. And most importantly, we make babies. That's so awesome. But. Always remember this. Test, to know your sickle cell status, and that, of your partner, before planning to have kids. Later on in this video, I will share with you a story, of a young beautiful couple. From there you will get what I'm talking about. It is very important to know your sickle cell status my friend. And I'm gonna share why you, should know your status for sickle cell, in simple terms. And for those, who already have the disease, or, those whose relatives have the disease, I have some good news for you too later. But since you know how difficult it is to manage a person with sickle cell, I need to share so that people don't go through the same, especially those who have no children yet. They need to think twice, especially before selecting a partner with whom, to bear children. Children get sickle cell disease, from both their biological parents. That's why, if you don't want to have kids with sickle cell, you got a test to know your status, and the status of your partner. Truth is, sickle cell people need a lot more medical attention, for lifetime. Once they are born, they need more medical attention throughout their lives. It hurts, looking at your child in a lot of pain, depression, and routine hospital visits, for life. Many parents, regret not knowing about sickle cell, before giving birth to a sickle cell child. Mostly, parents regret it when, a pain crisis comes. Pain crisis, is the worst fear among all, sickle cell people. They experience, severe pain. Which is compared to the pain when, someone is pushed into fire, and they stay there. That's like the pain that sickle cell people, go through. To tell the truth, however much you love each other, but your child is suffering in pain, it is unbearable. And the costs, I wouldn't go there now. Anyway. It is possible to reduce the number of sickle cell people born in future generations. Reducing the number of people born with sickle cell, doesn't mean killing them. It also doesn't mean people with sickle cell are not humans. Of course they are humans. And if you have one, treat them right. These are already born. But, what we want is to, prevent having sickle cell disease among, our own future generation. In this video basically, we shall discuss how to avoid giving birth to sickle cell children. We need a sickle cell free future generations. Which is possible. And, you are yet to find out more, and how, right here, on this channel, Cope stories. I want to share with you a story. From there, you will know what I'm talking about. But, before I continue, kindly don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, Cope Stories. For more, here we go. I'd love to share with you a story of a beautiful young couple that I met. Everyone, praised this couple. They, were married, husband and wife. And they really looked great together. One day, they got so excited when, they found out that they were gonna be parents, for the first time. She was one month pregnant. Thank you. Thank you so much Teresa for making me the happiest man on earth. I'm going to be a father. Honey, you don't have to thank me. We both wanted this. I can't believe we gonna be parents. I will inform my friends and family. As months went by, the couple organized a massive baby shower, and also held a mega gender reveal party. Friends and family were invited. She was carrying a girl. At nine months, she gave birth to a beautiful baby girl. 
they were overjoyed, to hold their bundle of joy, in their arms. Honey, I think we should, call her, Crystal. Is it okay with you? And just like any other, they invited friends and family over, to celebrate their bundle of joy. Now, this is what happened, as time went by. For the first four months, the baby would get, a few fevers, just like any other baby. And, they would manage at home. But then when she turned five months, they noticed something strange. Her eyes and skin started to turn yellow. The fever started to worsen. At first they tried home medication, but nothing was working. The baby's condition, kept on worsening. By the way, I would advise people out there to, avoid self-medication. You should get drug prescriptions, from qualified personals. So, when this couple saw that the baby's, condition wasn't getting any better, they rushed her to, a nearby medical center. They did a few tests, and they found out that she, had very little blood, in the body. They even exposed her to some blue lights, to reduce the yellowing. Several blood transfusions were done but, nothing was changing. See now. This was the start of, depression in the home. The happy couple was now, worried for their baby. You know, the biggest worry of every parent is, watching their own child, fight for their lives on a hospital bed, instead of them. Anyway, since this baby's blood levels kept, going back to low, even after transfusions, doctors suggested amongst themselves, to try to sickle cell test, on the baby. One of the doctors went, and first asked the couple if, they have anybody, in their families, who had history of, sickle cell. And this was like a big shock, to the couple. No doctor. My child has no sickle cell. We shall not spend money on sickle cell test. Because, nobody in our family, has sickle cell. Even, in my wife's family, nobody had sickle cell. Our baby girl, doesn't have sickle cell. So, no need for testing. Yes doctor. Our daughter has no sickle cell. Please save my daughter. I think she was bewitched. Our neighbor doctor. Our neighbor has no child. I think she wasn't happy when she learned that I was gonna have a baby. Please save my daughter. I understand what you're going through now. It is so sad. But if you really want me to help you, then, the only option left now is to do the sickle cell test on her. From there, we shall see what to do next. So, when both of you are ready to consent, please let me know. You know where to find me. The couple finally, did the test. And guess what? Their girl truly had sickle cell disease. At first, the couple couldn't, believe the results. But, just like the doctor had promised earlier, she explained to the couple how it comes about. This is what she told them. You may be wondering, how come your child has sickle cell? Yes of course doctor, I'm wondering. Because? First of all, nobody has sickle cell in my family. And, I don't think my wife cheated on me. Did you see any other man, other than me, Teresa? Why are you asking me that Gabriel? Because, how come she has sickle cell? In my family. Nobody has sickle cell, Teresa. Please tell me the truth. Gabriel. Of course I've never seen any other man. I don't understand why you doubting me now. Kindly just listen, to what I have to say. You don't need to blame each other. Children, acquire sickle cell disease from their biological parents. And each, parent transfers one gene to the baby. Now, 
for your case as parents, to this baby. Since your baby has sickle cell, then that means each of you transferred a sickle gene to the baby. I remember, you both said earlier, that you are okay in your family. That nobody has fallen sick often, no blood transfusions. Right? Nobody doctor. My relatives, including my wife's. No one has got any blood transfusions. We all live, normally. Just simple sicknesses like the rest. No hospital admissions. There ain't doctor. Then, if you, are the biological parents of this baby, then that means, you both may not have the disease, but you are just, carriers, of the disease. Carriers, of the disease. Yes, carriers. Look here. Carriers of sickle cell. Don't have the disease. But only, may carry the disease to their children. That's if they marry someone, who is a carrier too, or someone who has sickle cell. Just like you two. Carrier people, live normally like other people. No falling sick, no several blood loss, no pain crisis. They are very normal people. Actually, carrier people are normal people. They have no sickle cell disease. But, the only issue with carriers, is that there is a probability of, transferring the gene to their child, depending on who, they marry. That's why it is advisable for people to test, and know their sickle cell status, before planning to have kids with someone. From there, you'll be able to make the, best decisions between the both of you. Anyway, Gabriel, since you said nobody has sickle cell in your family, then it means, you and your wife, may be carriers. You, don't need to doubt your wife. We can confirm this, by doing the test on you both. Think about it. Get back to me because, I have to tell you how you should, handle a sickle cell person since, you, have one now. Hey guys, before we get to know, a few tips on how to handle a sickle cell person. I want to say something simple about the sickle cell test. Just like you go to a clinical lab and, ask for malaria test, likewise to sickle cell test. For malaria, results may be either positive, or negative. But for the sickle cell test, there are three kinds of results. 1. Someone may be normal. 2. May be a carrier. 3. May be a sickler. We want to reduce the number of only sicklers being born. Why? Because 1. Sickle cell people are really expensive to manage. They need a lot more medical attention throughout their lives. And the routine treatments are costly. 2. The pain crisis. The worst nightmare of all the sickle cell people is a pain crisis. This pain is severe and it comes unnoticed. The pain is sometimes compared to being pushed into fire and you stay in there. As parents, when a child goes through such pain, you regret certain things. Other reasons may be depression and family breakdown caused by all the stress and costs. However much a couple may love each other where there is no money to manage a sickle cell child, peace will not be enough. Something may happen. There are many more reasons why many young people should be advised before having kids. Now, how can we prevent getting kids who have sickle cell disease? The only way is to know your status and the status of your partner. You need to visit a good medical lab and carry out the test. You will be advised accordingly and from there you will make best decisions. What I know is a normal person can marry anyone despite their status. A carrier should not marry a fellow carrier or someone with sickle cell. Anyway, you will find all details when you go for testing. Now, as a parent or a guardian, how can you handle a sickle cell person? And, how are the people with sickle cell disease 
supposed to handle themselves as they grow. Let's hear from doctor. She has some good news for us. Thank you so much doctor. We shall follow the instructions. Thank you for making my husband understand. We shall stand by our child. If you have someone in your family who has sickle cell disease, or if you have sickle cell disease, you should know this. Number one, don't miss the routine hospital visits and follow your doctor's instructions. In case of any form of sickness, inform earlier. The treatments help sickle cell people live longer and healthier. They also reduce episodes of pain crisis. Number two, avoid stress. Do something you love to do. Depression also may bring a pain crisis. Avoid it. Talk to your doctor or parent or professional counselor. Number three, your diet. Control what you eat. To increase blood, eat foods rich in iron. Four, take enough water and drinks. You need to take a lot of water daily. At least five glasses a day. Number five. Avoid extreme weather. Avoid being in very cold and very hot environments. Wear heavy cardigans in cold weather and light cloths in very hot weather. Six. Don't overexercise. It is good to work out. But don't over get exhausted as you work out. There are many more you can get from your doctor. Before I say something about the cure of sickle cell disease, the couple we talked about, their daughter is now seven years old. And she is doing well. Because the parents follow whatever doctors tell them during the routine hospital visits. I also interacted with Crystal, and yeah. Despite what she goes through, her parents stand by her. And she doesn't get severe pain crisis, because the parents make sure that she takes all her medications on time. And they make sure she is free from depression. Having other kids, the couple decided to take care of Crystal, as they think about what to do next. Anyway. Finally. Some people ask, is there cure for sickle cell disease? I have heard of a bone marrow transplant. But it is very expensive and risky. Even before you do it, you have to find a match. And finding a match, my friend. Anyway, the good thing is that the treatments that have come up help sickle cell people survive for long. They even survive past their 50s. Hello guys. Are you still there? We're done. But, in case of anything to add, kindly leave a comment. And please don't forget to give a thumbs up. And subscribe to this channel, Bicobes Stories. To learn, love, and laugh. Bicobes Stories channel.